Part 1, Food Lesson 1, Eat at Home Dialogue 1, Prepare Food Tim, could you come downstairs and help me in the kitchen? Yes, I'll be right there. Could you help me dress the fish? Sure, but why don't you do it yourself? I have to peel eggplants. Dialogue 2, Have Me Let Home Am I ever hungry? When will supper be ready? It's almost ready. Can you set the table? All right. Want a taste of this dish? Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Really? Definitely. It's a wonderful meal. Thank you, honey. If you'd like to help me do the dishes, I'll be more grateful. I wish I could, but I won't. Dialogue 3. Entertain a friend at home. Oh, Henry, I haven't seen you in ages. Come on in, please. Let me take your coat. How are you getting along? Very well, thank you. Please take a seat. Everything will be ready in a minute. Can you bring me a glass of orange juice, please? I'm quite thirsty. Here you are. Here is your cocktail, lettuce, salad, fried chicken, french fries, and vanilla ice cream. Help yourself to the chicken while it's hot. Wow, they're delicious. Can you pass the pepper? Here you are. Taste the french fries. They are crispy. Would you like some more? No more, thank you. Let's bottoms up. To our friendships and health. Lesson 2. Meals in a Day Dialogue 1. Have a breakfast. Good morning. Morning. What would you like for breakfast? I'm not quite hungry now. Let me think for a while. Come on, we're going to be late. Okay, okay. Toast and egg. Milk? No. Dialogue 2. Have lunch. Where are you going for lunch? I have no idea. I have no appetite. I know of a restaurant. I'm sure you will like it. Let's go there then. Is it a Chinese restaurant? Yes, it serves excellent Sichuan food. Spicy food may improve your appetite. I hope so. Dialogue 3. Have supper. Is supper ready? I'm hungry. Almost ready. Could you set the table? Okay. What are we having? We'll have fruit salad to start and then the roast beef. I'll have my beef well done, please. By the way, don't we have soup tonight? I didn't prepare it, but if you want, I can cook some. What soup would you like to have? Let me see. Well, I'd like onion soup, thank you. Lesson 3. Eat out. Dialogue 1. Enter a restaurant. Good evening. Do you have a reservation? Yes. We've got a reservation. The name is Anne. Let me see. Okay. This way, please. This is your table. And would you like to order now? Yes. Here is the menu. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Order food. Excuse me. I'd like to try some Chinese food. We serve excellent Chinese food. Which style do you prefer? I know nothing about Chinese food. Could you give me some suggestions? It's divided into eight big cuisines, such as Cantonese food, Shandong food, Sichuan food, etc. Is there any difference? Yes. Cantonese food is lighter, while Shandong food is heavier and spicy. How about Sichuan food? Most Sichuan dishes are spicy and hot. They taste differently. Oh, really? I like hot food. So what is your recommendation for me? I think ma pao, bean curd, and shredded meat and chili sauce are quite special and delicious. 
We have a Sichuan food dining room. May I suggest you go there? It's on the third floor. Thank you. My pleasure. Dialogue three, exchange food. What is this? I didn't order that. I'm terribly sorry. May I have your order again? I will get it right away. I've ordered savory pork and coleslaw. I'm sorry. I must have made a mistake. I'll bring them for you at once. Hey, what is this? Pardon me, miss, but didn't you order the chicken soup? Oh, is that what this is? I believe so. But if it really bothers you, I'll replace it for you. No, don't replace it. Give me a refund. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't. But you may order something else instead. Oh, really? Give me a clam soup. Okay, miss. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Lesson four at M C Donalds and K F C. Dialogue one, at McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Please give me this extra value meal, a red bean pie, and one order of vegetable salad. Would you like something to drink? A cup of hot orange juice. Will that be it? Yes, that's all. Dialogue two, at KFC. You sit here, and I'll go get the food. What to order? I haven't decided yet. What do you like? Uh, I'd like a hamburger, large fries, and a small Pepsi. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Can I help you? I want two cheeseburgers and a large order of fries. Anything else? A small Pepsi and a milkshake. Sure, that'll be eight dollars. Here it is. Could I have some extra napkins? Sure. Dialogue three, in the fast food restaurant. Here we are. This is my favorite place. How many times have you been here? I've never counted. I would like to sit near the window. Please be seated. It's my treat today. Thank you. It's so busy here. Fast food restaurants are popular now. What would you like to eat? I'd like to have a steak sandwich and a medium fry. Want something to drink? Coke, please. Oh no, a cup of hot chocolate will be fine. Lesson five at Pizza Hut. Dialogue one. Order pizza. Do you have any seats available? Yes, this way, please. What's the special today? I recommend our new English pizza. Then give me a large one and an egg drop soup. Okay, wait a minute, please. Dialogue two, buy a pizza. Welcome. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a pizza. Today, all the pizzas are on sale. Great. What size would you like? A medium one. Which flavor do you want? Seafood. Is it for here or to go? To go. Can you wait for five minutes or so? No problem. Dialogue three. Comment on pizza. Thanks for the pizza. It was delicious. It's okay. Next time, it's on me. Don't be silly. I'm serious. All right. Next time, we can try some other flavors. Certainly. The vegetarian pizza looks pretty good. It must be very delicious. Definitely. I really like Italian food. Lesson six at a bar. Dialogue one. Plan to go to a club. Ella, it's been such a long week. 
I'm ready to go out and party. Hey, let's go out for a night on the town. Gosh, you took all the words right out of my mouth. Let's go out and get crazy tonight. Let's go to the new club on West Street. Sure, but what do I wear? You can wear that pretty red dress. Great. Dialogue 2. Order drinks. What would you like to drink? I'd like a Coke. Forget about the Coke. Let's drink some wine, shall we? Okay. What would you prefer, red wine or white? Red. Dialogue 3. Enjoy drinking at a bar. Ben, I remember you said you love China because it has cheap beers. Yes, unbelievably cheap. Carlsberg is less than one dollar. Why do you drink? I mean, where does drinking get you? It's fashionable. Come on, you don't even know that blind following is a sign of immaturity. Mary, it's not about the blind following. What matters is I enjoy drinking. It's like when you get off of work. You're so tired. You need to get relaxed. You can't just turn on the TV and keep watching those programs until you fall asleep. You need to make your after work time more fun. How? By drinking? Drinking is just part of it. I mean, you have a bunch of friends coming by and having fun. You drink and talk. And the more you drink, the more you talk. It makes me so relaxed. When did you begin to drink? It's a long time ago, when I first went to a bar to pick up girls there. I saw the most beautiful girl sitting and sipping a Coke. Then I went up to her and said, can I buy you a drink? And then? Then I talked to her and got her number. You know what? When you don't know what to say, just drink. So you get drunk every day? No, I'm not an alcoholic. I get drunk only on Fridays. Lesson 7 at a cafe. Dialogue 1. Order at a cafe. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? We are ready to order. A cup of coffee for me and a glass of apple juice for her. Yes, how would you like your coffee? Just black coffee. Do you serve anything else besides drinks, say cake? We also serve sandwiches and cakes. Give me two pieces of cake. Dialogue 2. A refill. Waitress. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Please clean up the table. Okay. And anything else I can do for you? I'd like a refill, please. Sure. Is it free of charge? Absolutely. Dialogue 3. The flavor of coffee. What do you want, Lucy? A cup of coffee and an apple pie. How about you? I don't want coffee. I'd like some orange juice. Why don't you drink coffee? I don't like the coffee in this cafe. It does taste weird. Most people think so. Part 2. Places to Live Lesson 1. Stay at a Hotel Dialogue 1. At the Reception Desk Hi, can I help you? Yes, we have reservations. What's your name, sir? Jack Bates. Yes, sir, we have your reservation. Could you fill out these forms, please? The reservation was for a double for three nights, wasn't it? Yes, sir. That's correct. How will you pay your bill? Cash or credit card? Credit card. Thank you, sir. You'll be staying in room 1910. Here are your keys. The bellhop will take your luggage upstairs. Have a nice day, sir. Thanks. Dialogue 2. Check-in. I'd like a double room. Do you have a reservation? 
Yes, I called you last week from New York. My name is George Lee. Wait a second, please. Yes, Mr. Lee, we have a room reserved for you. How long do you plan to stay? Probably two days. My wife will join me tomorrow. Then we'll decide when to leave for Seattle. Would you sign the register, please? Yes. By the way, does my room come with a private bath? Certainly. Every room in this hotel has a private bath. Does my room have twin beds or a double? I prefer a room with twin beds. Your room has twin beds, Mr. Lee. It also has a view. I'm sure you'll like it. This is your key. It's on the eighth floor, room 801. The elevator is over there. Thank you. One more thing. Where is your restaurant? The restaurant is on the second floor. We also have a cafeteria on the top floor. If you would like something to drink, you can either call room service or come down here. The bar is right behind the lobby. Thank you. You're very kind. You're welcome. Dialogue 3. Check out. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'm checking out. Can I have your key and room number, please? Room 1419. Here's my key. Here's your bill, sir. Could you please check it? It's all right. Please charge it to my credit card. Here you are, sir. You're all set. I hope you enjoyed your stay, and that next time you're in town, you will stay with us again. I will. Where can I leave my luggage? I really want to leave after lunch. The bell captain will put it in the storage room. When you're ready to leave, you can claim your luggage from him. Thanks very much, and goodbye. Lesson 2, Rent and Move Dialogue 1, See the Apartment I've been told you might have a vacant room. Yes, I have a spare room. Would it be okay to look at the room now? Would you come here in 20 minutes? We're right in the middle of dinner. This apartment looks nice. Yes, it has two bedrooms. That's convenient. How much is the rent? 2,500 yuan a month. This apartment is nice, but I'd like to find a cheaper one. Dialogue 2. Rent an apartment. Hello. I'm calling about the apartment you advertised. Yes. What kind of apartment are you interested in? I'm interested in a one-bedroom. Do you have any available? Yes. I have one. When do you need it? Sometime around next week. What can you tell me about this apartment? Well, it's a one-bedroom apartment. The monthly rent is $650 with a $300 security deposit. You pay electricity only. Gas and water is included. Both the heat and stove are gas. Let me see. What else? Oh, you'll be assigned a sheltered parking space at no extra charge. And that's probably it. Sounds good. May I come over tomorrow to take a look? Sure. What time would you like to come? How about 10 a.m.? Good. May I have your name, please? My name is Blanca. Thanks for calling, Blanca. I'll see you tomorrow. Dialogue 3. Talk about moving. Has Patrick moved out yet? Yes, he moved out last weekend. He's now living in a very nice, quiet neighborhood. I wonder if he's paying more for rent now. I don't have the faintest idea. Even so, it's still worth it, isn't it? You're right. I think he's probably very glad to leave that noisy apartment. Yes, he is. I know that for sure. Lesson 3. House Facilities Dialogue 1. Dripping Faucet Gosh, the water faucet is dripping badly again. 
You're going to have a huge bill. I know. I've got to get it fixed as soon as possible. Don't you want to get it fixed now? I wish I could, but I've got to go now. I have an appointment in 20 minutes. Well, if you need anything, just let me know. Oh, by the way, could you give me a ride? My car is still in the garage. You sure have bad luck these days. Dialogue 2. Clogged drain. So what's wrong with the drain? It's clogged and the water won't go down. Let me take a look. You know why? It's clogged with hair. No wonder the water won't go down. Well, I guess the people who lived here before didn't clean the bathtub. You're darn right. Well, what should I do now? Don't worry. I got some acid here. It'll help dissolve the hair down there. Ew, it stinks. Now you know you have to clean your bathtub every time you use it. Dialogue 3. The lamp doesn't work. James? Yes? Could you please come over here? Sure. This lamp doesn't work. Can you fix it? Is the electricity working? Yes. There is nothing wrong with the bulb. Maybe I've got to buy a new one. Lesson 4. Temperature in the room. Dialogue 1. A hot room. Nasty day, isn't it? Yes, it's like a stove here. I can't breathe. It is reported that it will rain tomorrow, and the temperature will jump down too. Really? That's good news. But what shall we do now? I can't stand the heat any more. Let's go get an air conditioner. Oh, okay. But do we have enough money? We can buy a cheap one. Dialogue 2. Air conditioner problem. Don't you have air conditioning in your apartment? It's sweltering here. Well, there's air conditioning. Did you see that window air conditioner there? The problem is that the window unit isn't powerful enough. I guess not, huh? Well, I'm going to move out anyway. The new apartment has central air conditioning. You should have moved out long, long ago. Well, I had to wait until the lease expired. So, so how can you stand the heat? Well, I opened the windows and, and I've got an electric fan here. It helps a little. Dialogue 3. Set the temperature. Geez, your room is like an icebox. No, it's not. It's just comfortable. Yeah, if you're a penguin, just look at me. Even my goosebumps have goosebumps. Get out of here. I think you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. Where's the thermostat? By the door on the wall. No wonder I'm cold. This thing is set at 65 degrees. Like I said, perfect. If you live in Alaska, by the way, where's a shovel? Why do you need a shovel? So I can dig us out when it starts snowing in here. Lesson 5, Air Conditioning Dialogue 1, Smoke in the Kitchen are you cooking in the kitchen, Mom? Yes, what's the matter? It's smoky everywhere. Did you turn the stove fan on? No, I forgot that. Could you please open all the windows? All right. Dialogue 2. Air pollution. Why do you wear a mask? The air is too dirty, especially in the streets. I have the same feeling. Every day when I wash my face, I find the water turns black. But I don't like wearing a mask, and it's not the effective way to solve the problem. I know, but what can we do? We have to go to school by bike. Dialogue 3. Ventilate the room. It's like an oven in here. You must be roasting. Actually, I'm just comfortable. 
You've got to be kidding me. It has to be over 95 degrees in here. What can I say? I'm a cold-blooded person. The warmer the better as far as I'm concerned. Well, can we at least open a window and get some ventilation in here? Knock yourself out. Thanks, I will. Lesson 6, Apartment Management Service Dialogue 1, A Complaint Are you the manager of Apartment Management Service? Yes, I am. Can I help you? I'm here to see you on behalf of the dwellers in the apartment. The heating system in the apartment doesn't work yet. Last time, you promised you would fix it in two days, but two weeks have passed. We are freezing. Oh, I'm sorry for that. This time, I assure you, we'll fix it before Christmas. What? That's another week to go. Dialogue 2. Call the apartment management. Hello, this is the apartment management. Can I help you? Yes, this is the tenant of apartment 10. I guess my kitchen sink is clogging up again, and so is the bathtub. All right, I'll send someone over tomorrow. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd send someone over to fix it today. It's a really a bother. I can't cook or take a shower. Fine, I'll be up in a few minutes. Thanks, I appreciate it. Dialogue 3. Bad Apartment Management Why is there no water coming out when you turn on the faucet? Not even a single drop? Well, it's just drip, drip, drip. But that's not water. I don't know. Since yesterday morning, the water pressure has dropped to a little more than a drip. Did you call the apartment management yet? Yeah, I called and they said they'd send someone over. How long ago did you do that? It was 36 hours ago. That's outrageous. I just don't understand why they're not on top of this. Part 3 Shopping. Lesson 1. At the supermarket. Dialogue 1. Find the shopping basket. Excuse me, could you tell me where I can get a shopping basket? Yes, madam. It is at the entrance. Well, I can't find the way to the entrance. Would you tell me where the entrance is? Okay, follow me, please. Thank you very much. By the way, where are the vegetables? In aisle 3. Dialogue 2. Service in a supermarket. Excuse me, are there any more shopping carts? Yes, you can find it at the entrance. But there isn't a single one right now. I'll get one for you. Thank you. I'll wait here. Here it is. It's really hard to find a shopping cart at this moment. Thanks a lot. By the way, do you make deliveries? We make deliveries only for bulk buying. Is it free of charge? No, but the charge is rather low. Okay, thank you. Not at all. Dialogue 3. At the checkout. Are these all yours? Yes, they are. Cash or credit card? I want to use these coupons. Have they expired? Not yet. Oh, madam, this item is no longer on sale. And this goes on sale tomorrow. Will you take them? Yes. Could you use plastic bags? Sure. It is 80 yuan in all, and you have to give me another coupon. Could you charge it to my credit card? Certainly. Here you are. Okay, input your PIN number, please. Sign here. Sure. Here is your receipt. Thank you. Lesson 2. Go shopping. Dialogue 1. Clearance sale. Hi, Andy. I'm going to Isabel's. Are you coming? No, the things are too expensive there for me. I can't afford it. That is no problem at all. 
Isabel's is having a clearance sale, and today is the last day. You don't want to miss such a good chance, do you? Really, that's wonderful. Can you wait a second? I need to change. All right, but hurry up. It takes you hours to change. I will. Do you think we can get something really nice and cheap? I mean, this is the last day. I think so. They don't sell shoddy clothes for one thing. Should we ask Cindy to come along? She saw the evening gown made of silk last month that she wanted to buy very much. She didn't buy it, of course. It would cost her three months' salary. She already bought that evening gown. When? Yesterday, she wore that gown last night and showed it off to everybody at Mr. Miles' party. Oh, isn't that like her? Hurry up, will you? We have to go to the gas station first. All right, all right. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Dialogue two, bargain. Hi, are you being helped? No, I'm not. I'm interested in some scarves. All of our scarves are in this section. What do you think of this one here? It's made of silk. Hmm, it looks nice, but I'd like to have something warm for the winter. Maybe you would like a heavy wool scarf. How about this one? I think that's what I want. How much is it? It's seventy-five dollars plus tax. It's a little expensive. Do you think it's possible to get a discount? Hmm. Since you like it so much, how about a ten percent discount? That's the best I can offer. That's good. Could you wrap it for me? Sure. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that should be it. Thank you. Dialogue three, after sales service. Did you find everything okay? Yes, I did. By the way, in case there's a flaw in this CD player, can I return it? Yes, but you must return it within thirty days. Is there a charge for that? I know other stores have a restocking fee. There will be no charge at all. However, you must show us the receipt. Could you sign it here, please? Thank you. All right. Keep your receipt. If something comes up, you can show it to us, and we'll give you a refund. Thanks. I'll put it in a safe place. Lesson three at the bookstore. Dialogue one. Ask for advice on books. Where is the shelf of bestsellers? Books in the first aisle are all bestsellers. Could you give me some advice on books for killing time on the train? Well, do you like novels? Yes, very much. Which one is the latest? Here is one written by a famous Japanese novelist. You can have a look. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. Dialogue two. Look for books. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like a book about law. Would you tell me the name of the book and the author? Uh, the origin of law, and it's written by Professor Felix of Harvard. I'm sorry, it's out of stock now. Could you come by again next week? Next week? It is too late. I need it urgently. Well then, is it convenient to leave your phone number so that I can inform you as soon as we restock it? No, thanks anyway. You're welcome. Dialogue three. Go to a bookstore. Would you go to the bookstore with me? It sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Do you know Jeffrey has published his second detective novel? Yes, I've heard about that, and I know you want to buy it, but I'm not interested in detective novels. So, what are you interested in? Magazines about fashion, such as Cosmopolitan. I know that magazine. It's very popular. Yes, I can lend you some. Thank you, but I'm not interested. Lesson four: Buy grocery. Dialogue one: Buy grapes. Could I help you, sir? Yes, I want to buy some grapes. 
What kind of grapes do you want? People say grapes from Xinjiang are much sweeter than other kinds. Please give me a kilo of that. Okay, wait a moment, please. Make sure they are fresh. Trust me. Dialogue 2. Buy eggs. Can I help you? I'd like two kilos of eggs. What kind? Do you have the eggs with the red yolk? Sorry, madam. We have stopped selling those kinds of eggs for a week. Why? You know, red yolk has proved unnatural. It's artificial and may lead to cancer. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yes, so they are no longer being sold. Then give me the ordinary ones. Dialogue 3. At a grocery store. Anybody here? Coming, I'm coming. Hi, Susan. What do you want today? Quite a lot. I need one pound of potatoes, three pints of milk, a dozen brown eggs, two pounds of corn, one pint of olive oil, one pound of cucumber, half a pound of mushrooms, and one pound of tomatoes. Do you need any fruit? Our fruit is very fresh today. How much are the lemons? Lemons are three for one dollar. Are they juicy? I want to use them for juice. They are ripe and juicy. So are the watermelons. No, I don't want watermelons. They're not in season yet. Just give me a dozen lemons. Very well. Anything else? I also need a loaf of sliced bread and a pound of coffee. What kind of coffee? Drip or instant? I like the coarser grind. We make coffee in a percolator at home. All right. And a bottle of catsup. Any brand will do. Can you send this order to my house this afternoon? Certainly. Thanks. How much will that be? I'll give you a check now. Lesson 5. Buy Household Appliance and Furniture. Dialogue 1. Be Ripped Off. How much did you pay for the TV? 200 bucks. 200 bucks for a piece of junk like that? That's a ripoff! What do you mean? It's not worth it. Oh, I guess I really did get ripped off. Dialogue 2. Buy fridge. I'd like to buy a fridge. What about the quality of higher products? I strongly recommend it. As an international enterprise, it produces high-quality household appliances. Is there a warranty? Yes, all their products have warranties. How long is it? The fridge is covered by a one-year warranty. Which model is the best seller of this year? This one. How do you like it? It's too big for me. Could you recommend something new else? Sure. This way, please. Dialogue 3. Buy Furniture Hi. Can I help you? No, thanks. I'm just looking. All right. If you need any help, just let me know. My name is Greg. Sure, I'll let you know if I need anything. This mattress is very firm. Jack will probably like it. Did you find something you like? Yes, this mattress is very good. It's pretty firm. The mattress I'm now sleeping on is saggy. You're right. This is a very good brand. It doesn't sag easily, and we offer a lifetime warranty so you don't have to worry about its quality. Does it come with a frame? Unfortunately, it doesn't. However, we can give you a 10% discount on the frame. We also offer a very good financing plan. There's no payment, no interest until next June. That's an attractive plan. I'll think about it. Well, you've got to hurry. This mattress sells pretty well, and this promotion ends tomorrow. Lesson 6. Buy Cosmetics Dialogue 1. Buy Cosmetics 
Could you introduce some whitening products for me? Please forgive me to speak frankly, madam. You don't need whitening products because you look pretty white, but you have freckles on your face. Then what kind of product can feed freckles? I recommend Vichy products. This brand has a face cream which is effective on fading freckles. How much is it? 419 yuan. It is too expensive for me. Do you have something cheaper? I'm afraid there isn't. Dialogue 2. At a perfume counter. What can I do for you, miss? I want to buy a bottle of perfume for myself. Well, here is the perfume counter for women. I don't like strong perfumes. How about this Isabel's flowery perfume? I don't think it smells nice. Do you have green tea perfume? Yes, here you are. May I have a look at this? Sure. The bittersweet perfume has a calming effect on the nerves. I like this fragrance. How much is it? 450 yuan. I'll take it. Dialogue 3. Buy lipstick. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Good morning. I want to buy lipstick for my wife because it is her birthday today. Do you know what color your wife often wears? Light pink. Would you like this color or other colors? I like her to have a change. Then, how do you like this plum red one? It is nice. Is it waterproof? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll take it. Could you help me gift wrap it? Of course.